Another question was, this is a big question I always get, is how to kind of go about starting to get a wig? Like how okay. to even start the whole process, where to look, because it can be overwhelming right. with everything that's on so, like, social so media. So you, you know my whole shtick on this, <laughs> is that my preference is that you go to a place where you can deal with somebody who is a professional. Mm -hmm. It's not always an option. Mm -hmm. This is a big tip for people. If you live anywhere near an Orthodox Jewish community, and I'm talking about within three or four hours even, like it's worth the drive, because I just find that when people, with some exceptions, like, but I find that when people um, go to a place that specifically only caters to women who have hair loss, a lot of times the quality of the wigs is just not so great. Most of the, all of the wigs I saw really are intended for Orthodox Jewish women who cover their hair for religious reasons, and they will always expect to get two to four years out of a wig and they know what they're looking at so there's nobody telling them you know you need this or that mm -hmm. so i find that if you can find a jewish wig shop to go to you will definitely get a better you'll have a better experience and you'll have a better quality of wig mm -hmm. you know um and you'll also i find you'll get like the same quality that you would get if you went to a really really high-end wig store that caters to people who have hair loss mm -hmm. like you could probably get something for two thousand dollars rather than five because mm -hmm. i find that the markup there is just ridiculous Okay, yeah. so that's one thing. Not always, but a lot of times. Um, okay, so how you should start the process. Well, it really depends on if you're gonna be able to do it in store with an expert or you're gonna have to do it online. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna have to do it online, um, I really encourage people to do what like you're doing, which is to talk to other women online who have bought online to make sure that whoever it is is reputable. Mm -hmm. You have got to be able to return, not just exchange. Um, you know, people charge a restocking fee and that is fair, but it shouldn't be exorbitant. Like it shouldn't be so much that you're like, I'll just keep it because I can't pay the restocking fee. Mm -hmm. um, you should make sure that you can have some contact with the person beforehand to ask some questions. And I would even say, like we offer this, and I think a lot of people like it, we'll do a virtual consult. Um, and that's a great way to do it. So what I'll do is, you know, you'll, you'll tell me you're gonna do a virtual, and then we'll send you like a sheet with all kinds of different questions, and then we'll pull wigs so that we can have a bunch of stuff for you to look at and then we'll show them to you. And I'll put them on sometimes also, mm -hmm. so that you can kind of see what they look like on a human being. Because like we try to get our wigs online, but you know, it's just not the same as seeing them on a person and a 360 view and, mm -hmm. okay, so that's, so that's it. But the, the, I think the two most important things are make sure that other people in the hair looks community have told you that this is a reputable person to work with and that their legs, wigs have lasted more than a year. That's A. And B is make sure that there is a return policy, not just an exchange policy, and that you can get most of it back. That's really, really important. Good tips. Yeah. Um, so I would say that's how you start the process. But in general, like starting the process, I think the best thing is to lean on your, your community, your virtual community, mm -hmm. because that's where you're going to get the best information. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. This is really pretty by least. <laughs> so if you are lucky enough, Jeff. <laughs> to live close to um, a Jewish community, then I would always go in. Mm -hmm. I would just go in and make an appointment. There, generally, appointments are free, you know. And then it's always, always better. It's like buying anything online. You buy a dress online. You could order a size ten, an eight, and a twelve. None of them will fit from different brands. Blah 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 blah. Different colors. They don't look the same. So it's the same thing with a wig. Like, like you know this. If you could come in and try on thirty wigs. No, <laughs> I mean, we have like 340 wigs at the store. If you could come in and try on dozens of wigs to make sure that you really get what you want and it fits well and all that, um, you're going to end up with a great wig mm -hmm. and it's a little bit easier. It, yeah. it is doable by mail. Yeah. But it's preferable to do in person. Definitely. I'm kind of really loving this one. Me also. too. <laughs>